Happy New Year, everybody. I hope that you all are having an amazing day. New energy, new vibes as we are coming into a new year. Just excited and thankful that God has given us another opportunity in order to move and to operate in his purpose in order to elevate and to get things done this year. So I wanted to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart as we are coming into a new year because many times we say new year, new year, new year new you and we could end up bringing the old us into the new year wondering why we're not getting the results that we want to get and this used to be me many many years ago where I would come into a new year I was super excited I was like yes this is gonna be the year right but what would make that year different from any year if I was the old me coming into that new into that new year so I realized many years ago that I had to shift my mindset and to grow and to elevate and to do some things differently in order to really ensure that it wasn't just that insane cycle, right? You know, doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting something different to happen. So here's some of the things that I do every single year in order to make sure that I don't just come into a year, but I'm able to run into that year, right? So number one, I like to do this at the end of every year, but reflect, take the time to reflect upon the previous year. To identify and to you know celebrate your accomplishments, but what are some things, some areas that can be approved upon, right? What are some things that didn't happen? So look at those areas that need improvement so that now you can kind of reflect and see the things that you did, the things that you didn't do, the things that you need to do in order to implement change, all right? The second thing is to make sure that you have some goals. All right, so not just any goals, but smart goals, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, put a time stamp on them so that now they're dated, so that now it drives the action that's necessary in order to accomplish those goals. And you got to make sure that they're written because if they're not written, it's just a wish that probably won't happen. The third thing is get rid of bad habits. Right, anything that's keeping you stuck, you need to let it go. Not now, but right, right now, just like this. I'm not doing that anymore, all right? Get rid of those bad habits that are keeping you in the same place. The fourth thing is to surround yourself with positivity. What are you listening to every single day? What are you reading? What are you seeing, right? You have to create an environment that allows you to thrive. I have affirmations all over my wall, over my house. And I can tell you that the things that I listen to daily inspire me. And I read and I listen to audio books that now are going to build me up. And so these are some of the things that you have to do. I stopped watching TV many, many years ago. Yes, I love, I watch a movie and I love sports, but at the end of the day, I don't watch TV shows because I replace those with books, all right? Things that's gonna help me to grow. The next thing that I wanna talk about after you now do that is to make sure that you do something new this year. All right, I think that's the fifth thing. Do something new. What's that thing that you've been wanting to do that you haven't done? Go do it, right? You want to start a new business? Start it. You want to, you got a hobby, some passions that you want to now move forward in? Go do it, right? Whatever that thing is, new, new, new. Everything new, new, new. It's a new year. Do you. Do something new, all right? And then the next thing that I want to talk about, number six, grow. Make sure that you are on a constant, continual path of growth. You've got to do something every single day in order to make sure that you are moving from point A to point B to point C to point D. You got to grow because if you're not growing, you're dying. So you got to make sure that you are growing your mind every single day, stretching yourself to another level, right? You got to grow. And then lastly, the seventh thing is realize that this is a process and embrace the process. So it's okay. There's going to be some challenges. Every day you're not going to feel like doing the things that's necessary in order to move forward. But when you start to implement these things and you start to have this positivity and you got goals and you're now being inspired by, you know, the things that you have in front of you and you're not worried about that 2020 eyesight, but instead you have vision that sees beyond the current situation, guess what? You're going to get up every single day and it's going to now allow you to not wait on anything to motivate you, but you become your own motivation, your situation, and the things that you want to accomplish in order to get it done. All right, so I hope this helps somebody so that we are able to make sure that as we run into this new year, that we're running and that we're not bringing an old us into the new year, but instead it's a new year and a new year. Love you guys.